Hi there, this video is going to show you the difference between a trick that a lot of people learn in A-level physics when they're dealing with errors or uncertainties and the correct way you should be dealing with them uh, using A-level maths in particular, the topic of partial differentiation. So suppose that you've collected some data in an experiment. Okay, so you've collected the current passing through a resistor and the results you've got lead you to find that the current is 0.25 amps plus or minus 0.02 amps and that the resistor is 20 plus or minus 1. That might be the tolerance of the resistor. And we wish to find the power dissipated along with its uncertainty. Now in A-level physics what a lot of people are told is that first of all you would calculate the, the power ignoring the, the uncertainties. So you would have 0.25 squared times 20. Uh, 0.25 is a quarter, so a quarter of 20 is 5, and then a quarter again, because it's squared, is a quarter of 5 is 1.25 watts. And then to calculate the error, the way that it's taught in physics is that you, you calculate the fractional or the percentage errors in each of the, the quantities that go together to uh, to calculate P. So you'll have to find the fractional error in I and R. So the so first of all, the fractional error in I is going to be equal to delta I, which is the uncertainty in I. So that's 0 0.02. So 0 0.02 amps is the uncertainty in the current divided by the value of the current. That may be the mean value of the currency. And if you put that together, you get 0 0.08. And similarly for the resistance. So delta R over R, 1 over 20. So that's 0 0.05. And in physics, then what you're told is that the you just multiply you, sorry, you just add together the fractional errors. So you've got that the the fractional error in the power. So delta P over P is going to be equal to delta I over I plus delta R over R. And because I is in there twice, because because you can think of this as I times I times R, then we have to put a two in front of that. Okay, because we're including that twice in there. So you find that the fractional error is two times 0 0.08 plus 0 0.05, uh, which is 0 0.21. So we might see a 21% error in the power. So if we just want to find delta P by itself, then the uncertainty in the, in the power, that's going to be 0 0.21 times P. So 0 0.21 times 1.25 watts, which is approximately 0 0.26 watts and this is how the errors are combined from an a level physicist's point of view now let's go to a level maths partial differentiation so we know as long as the changes are small enough that the the error the uncertainty in the power or the the, the small change in the power is equal to well, I'll put approximately equal to because it's not equal. It's equal to the, the, the partial derivative with respect to each of the quantities in it. So dp by di, partial dp by di times the uncertainty in i plus partial dp by dr times the uncertainty in r. So what is dp by di? Well, so we, if we partially differentiate i squared r, we treat r as a constant. So we've just got r, a constant, times i squared. So that's just going to give us 2 times i times the constant r. And delta i, well, I'll just, I'll just write delta i for now. We'll put the values in in the next line. Partial dp by dr. So this time, you treat the r as variable and the i as a constant. So it's just a constant times r. If you differentiate that, you're just left with the constant term. So we just got i squared. 
and then times delta r. So put all the values in, so you've got 2 times 0.25 for the current, times 20 ohms for the resistance, and then multiply by 0.02 amps for the uncertainty in the current. And then you've got 0.25 squared times 1. And if you put all of that together, you get 0.26 watts. So you can see you get the same uncertainty in the power, but I would argue the maths way is quicker. And the important thing to note here is that in A-level physics, a lot of the equations that you, you come across and you might be interested in experimentally are equations where it's just a simple power law where you can apply this rule. But if it's not a some sort of polynomial power law equation, then the trick does not work and you cannot combine the powers and um, the uncertainties so easily. So, for example, in electromagnetic induction, you've got equations that involve sine or cosine. In nuclear physics, you've got equations that involve exponentials and logarithms. If you do the astrophysics topic, you've also got a few equations in there that involve logarithms. So those tricks for propagating the errors through will not work. And the more general way that a mathemat mathematician would deal with it is by using partial differentiation. So hopefully that's a bit enlightening and makes a nice connection between what some of you will have seen in A-level maths and in A-level physics. Bye for now.